Hi, it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with some new blind toys. These are, well, these come in keychains, but they are little plush beanies called foodies. They're made by a company called Cutie Beans. And y'all, these are adorable. So I, I don't think I'll really do anything with this keychain thing. And I already got rid of the keychain that came with my first one. So sometimes when I find these in stores, they're so hard to come across any other time that if I plan on buying it, I have to buy the one, open it, see if it's cool, and then buy the rest of them. So, you know, that's of course <clears throat> what I did. But I got this little popsicle guy and look how adorable. It's even got a piece taken out up here and you can see some chocolate inside of him and he's got little stick feet. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. It's got obnoxious tags. I'm definitely going to cut all of those tags off, but I did want to show you, you know, what they look like. Uh, and it says Fiesta and CB, which is Cutie Beans on it. This says Fiesta Foodies since 1972. So yeah, this is Fiesta, Fiesta Toys and Cutie Beans, or maybe they're called Cutie Beans, and then this is the Foodies series of Cutie Beans. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen these before even though they've apparently been out since 1972 so I don't I don't really know you guys but I'm excited to get more of them open I l lost my little checklist that came with my first popsicle thing so hopefully we'll get one in here oh does it say a series it does say for ages three and up distributed by Bulls Toy 2021 so it's new-ish uh, but yeah, I don't know what series. doesn't say a, a number of series, but maybe they're not numbered. Maybe they're just labeled because I I uh, did get another type of these that were really similar and they're probably made by the same company. So eventually I will get a video out on those too. But okay, these are not very easy to open. I kind of got my scissors in and started the plastic and now I'm going to tear the rest of it here super awkwardly. Okay, great. I got it. I probably should open all of these like this so that this is easier to do. Let me do that. Let me get them all to this point. Because it's not like you can feel it through it anyway, so I, think I, can't, I can't cheat on it, you know? But I don't want to be frustrated by this packaging. Be very careful when doing this, and uh, parents, you might want to help your kids out with this part. They can probably open the inside part just fine. This, this part will open up, and then there's another little bag inside of there that'll cut open, but... Even if you just get it started for them, then maybe they'd be able to get it from there. But that plastic is a little tough to get out. You know, these kind of look like little Pizza Planet rockets with the color and the shape. I'm a super huge Toy Story fan, you guys. I've got to get over myself, but you know how it is. Okay, who do you think we got? There's one, two, three, four, five more. So who do you think we got? And do you think we got any doubles or hopefully not triples? But let me know in the comments below. You could pause the video to put all your guesses in the comments. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh I couldn't open it. Sorry. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll show you the paper first. That way it's not going to tell me who it is, is it? Okay, good. Uh, mix and match foodies so there are oh wow there's only nine of them you guys so i can get a good number of them if i get all different ones but the one i got is actually just called popsicle there's also cookie fries avocado strawberry sherbet sushi hamburger and pizza and no i have no idea why i read those backwards so there's that and then it just says foodies collect us all cb on the back so it's a smaller checklist than i was expecting and i don't know if i really looked at the checklist when i got the first one or not but okay guys who is it who is it who is it who is it, who is it? ready 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 here we go oh yes we got the ice cream cone perfect all right i really need the french fries i think the ice cream and the french fries are right oh the burger is super cute though too oh, i don't know you guys but sherbert is adorable all right put him in there all right who else did we get here we go here we go here we go oh i'm so excited all right ready here we go here we go oh no another popsicle oh i didn't show you guys sherbert up close i'm sorry so here is sherbert he is uh, a regular, you know, waffle cone at the bottom of him, and then his top half is all different colors. Like, the back of it is all purple, but then the front has an, an orange swirl on top, which kind of looks like a little flame. And then the very front of his face has stripes, like diagonal swirly stripes of orange, yellow, green, 
and blue. It's so cute, you guys. Oh, I'm so disappointed. We already got a double. Oh, no. All right. Hopefully, no more doubles, guys. All right. Here we go. It's going to be a luckier one. Ready, 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 ready? Sushi! Oh, Dustin's going to be really excited about this one. Oh, look. He's actually got these little, like, rice things drawn in. That is so cute, you guys. And he's got all this stitching around the front face of him. I'm not a big sushi fan, but Dustin is, so he's going to be he's going to be pretty stoked about that. All right, here we go. Come on, french fries. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't I didn't cut it far enough, guys. Okay, here we go. It is strawberry. Oh my goodness. He's upside down. Oh, well, I guess he's supposed to, the, the, um, ugh, the stem piece of it is supposed to be his feet instead of his hair, which is interesting. I usually see them made like this, but I guess since the smaller part of the strawberry then can be the face instead of him having to stand on little teeny tiny feet. I don't know. It's still adorable. I'm excited. Okay. Hopefully this last one is not a double and I mean realistically hopefully it is the french fries but at least not a double what do you guys think who is it here are your options again put it in the comments below all right here we go here we go here we go fingers crossed oh, yes it's burger all right so this one is oh it's called hamburger oh they have really basic names you guys they're just named after whatever food they are well, he's got a little extra string here I don't really know about that, but I'm going to, oops, try to cut that off and fail. Okay. So here's a little burger. He's got like this little lettuce skirt and you can see the stripes for the burger, cheese, and tomato in here. Aww. They're so cute. And there, there's beans all inside of here. They're like little teeny tiny bean bag toys. They're maybe, gosh, I don't know, two or three inches tall. If my if my thumb is about an inch. That's what they usually say is your thumb is about an inch. I always meant to measure that, but, you know, I... I yeah. Nam, 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 nam. You get the idea. They are quite tiny, but they are quite cute, you guys. And then if you want to take them with you on your purse or bag or backpack or whatever you guys have, or, you know, diaper bag, I don't know, um, you can put them back in these little capsules, and then they'll peek out at you. Which I got, I got this tag. If you cut the tags off, it's going to be a lot easier to manage them, I think. But, oh, Well, you can play with them as little rocket ships. I might make one into a little Pizza Planet rocket ship because I think that would be super, super cool. But, we'll see. I don't know. One other interesting note about these is that if you have some really small dolls or figures, these would make adorable beanbag chairs. So, yeah. You should definitely consider doing that. You can also use them as, you know, smaller pillows or squishmallows type of thing if you've got the bigger dolls and, you know, the bigger dolls go shopping for other toys and foods and things. So it would be a good thing to put on your store shelf. And depending on the size of your dolls, it can be a small or a large toy. So there's just a couple of ideas of something that you can do when you are playing with these. You can also play a sort of hacky sack type game with them because they are very similar to a hacky sack, but a lot lighter weight. It's just little lightweight beans inside of here, or beads or seeds. I don't really know. I'm not going to open one to find out, but yeah. Okay. Hope that helps you guys. All right, let me know what you guys thought of these down in the comments below. Are you guys collecting? Are there other series of the foodies that have uh, more than just these nine? Let me know if you have seen that or if you have any of them. And let me know which one is your favorite. All right, if you enjoyed what you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below as well. It really helps support us and is completely free for you guys to do. So I really do appreciate you taking a moment to click that button right now. You can also click the thumbs up to leave a like and the purple dragon logo to go check out our channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there, and we're always adding new content weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays, which is 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.